our responsibility tested we are the gatekeepers without us there is no application that's why feel proud to be a tester have the zeal have the passion we are the tester without us there is nothing so what everyone do testing man so if your wife is cooking food so she will test it not you are so she will test okay so that that's a testing so you are coming out of means you are coming to the class so you will lock your door you will check whether the door is properly locked or not you are coming when you lock your bike so you will check whether the bike is locked proper everywhere you are doing testing without testing there is nothing be proud to be a tester madhukar alert come on clap thank you so time so it's a low reliability and number of human resources and inconsistency i don't want to go into details of these things because everyone know about this everyone know about these things and next automation testing so it's a speed repeatability and means uh, you know right so you can keep it and you can go and sleep next day morning you can come and see the results so programming capabilities test coverage reliability reusability so these are all the factors which we have discussed and everyone know about these things okay the next point yes what is meant by test uh, automation and test process test automation is a software to control the execution of test see you have qtp you have siltest you have coded ui everything these are the softwares those softwares are not testing they are supporting for the testing so that's a important factor you need to keep it in mind test automation is a process to support testing test automation is not testing the applications see we are doing functional testing regression testing where these things we are supporting from our side means this tool is supporting to do the functional testing to do the regression testing okay so that's the important point we need to be catch so that's where we have written test automation is not testing test automation supports the testing and test automation is a process to be maintained so that's a process so the process you need to maintain okay and um so this everyone knows like so how it will be means how we are trying to control how we are trying to control means so we are comparing the actual versus means the actual outcomes to the predicted outcomes okay and this is a test automation process so first understand your application understand your aut or ac what is ac ut AUT. Hey, what is meant by AUT, guys? What are you thinking, man? Okay, application under test or software under test. So understand that particular application and then plan and what the tool selection. So as Prabhu said, so first plan what are the tools you are going to use and what are the tools and means how I need to test it and prepare the strategy for automation. not plan strategy and then script identification so then make it the path so you hope everyone knows about the test enumeration no or no means yes or no test enumeration is nothing but boss if at all i give any requirement okay a new requirement i have given in which point of directions which which point of angles i need to see want to wash your face you are stopping i am while seeing me okay so uh, if you got a particular requirement okay if you got that particular requirement how you are enumerating means into what classifications you are doing guys this is one of the important thing every tester need to understand blindly if someone gives some requirement okay this i need to do only function no you need to think there is a factors yes if you got a requirement first see what are the functional things i need to test second thing what are the regression things i need to do and what are the integration things i need to do what are the compatibility things i need to do i need to do and what is the performance i need to do what is the security i need to do security testing performance testing so what is the performance testing what are the sub classifications 
Huh? Guys, online, you can give me the answer. Yes, in the performance, we will have broadly classified into four sections load, test, calibrity, durability. And further, we have spike, endurance, soak, reliability, all remaining things also there. Okay, and in the security, guys, if I give you an application, you need to come up with all these things. You don't come with me only for functional testing. Okay, if at all you got a requirement, you need to think from all these six perspectives. Security testing, we need to do firewall testing, penetration testing, we need to do authentication and authorization testing. So, apart from this, we have OSAP 10, uh, top 10 is there, SQL injection, cross platform testing. So, like this, we have all 10. Whatever the things you wanted to test, you need to, it's, it's your job to propose in your in scope. So, that's where I ask you to means first concentrate on the test artifacts, how you are preparing a test plan. So, that makes you a perfect tester. So, in scope defines you how I have to see this application. So, you need to see the application from all the prospective views, different perspectives, not from a single direction. So, you need to be matured enough to maintain the governance and you need to maintain the complete testing prospective views. Okay. So, anyways, I'm uh, diverting. Alec, clap. Sound. For you separately, I need to tell that. Clap, man. Come on, guys, clap. Yes. Why? Well, because I'm making alert like everyone is awake. Uh, yes. So that's where uh, the script identification and uh, so, sorry, we are in the test enumeration. So test enumeration is nothing but segregating of your test cases into different, different sections and making the test suits is called the test case enumeration. So regression testing suit and smoke suit and then uh, we will be going for function okay functional suit and then you will be going for uh, your performance suits and uh, even you can go for your security suits most of the companies are not going with uh, remaining things but as a tester this is our job we need to point out with a different point of views and different angles okay yes so that is called the test case enumeration and uh, the test packs creations and test scripts pre uh, creations and test executions and reporting and test suit maintenance. So this is a particular process flow. Uh, no need to buy have this one. So once you understand the complete process, automatically you can, uh, it would be on your fingertips. Okay. So the next one, my automation. He's not my friend now. Don't worry. So my automation. So that's what we have already discussed. So these are the factors which makes us to do the automation. So as I said, um, manual workflows, all fields, negative scenarios is the time and the cost consuming. So as the people said rightly, so it was taking so much of time and cost for all these negative scenarios. Guys, every one, that's the mistake we are doing. See, we, we shouldn't point out every time the developer, even there is some mistakes from our end. Understand that mistakes where we are getting and give the good quality. Boss, if you are giving a product to the people that should be at least 99.999963% page quality. If you are failed to do that, we are failed to do our profession. Try, try, try maximum, test the application, test the application, understand the application. If you don't understand, you can't test it properly. So first understand and test that one application. So not only go with the positive scenarios, go with all negative scenarios. You may get only one positive, but you may get 10 negative test cases. Go with all negative test cases. If you are writing the negative test cases, more number of negative test cases, then you are the good tester. And guys, I am saying that negative test cases, I'm not saying that if you write a thousand test cases, you are a good tester. No. Then you will be calling a good, means a tester means if you cover your requirements, Okay, if you cover your requirements, then only you will be called as a good tester. If you write 10,000 test cases and you miss two, four, two, three requirements, then you are not a good one. Anyone may miss, I accept that. But to maximum extent, you need to take care. 
go with all negative scenarios so i don't bother even means if you write one or two test cases for positive but write 10 test cases for your negative test cases so that makes the difference okay uh yes next one testing 